If you're thinking about moving and you wanna learn about what everyday life is gonna be like in your new town, this is the place for you. On Open House, we sit down with local top producing real estate agents to help you find the best places to live in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you don't want buyer's remorse and you wanna find your dream town, we are here for you. So go ahead and book a free call with us and we'll help guide you to the area that is right for you. Now let's jump in and learn about your new home. Welcome to Potomac, Maryland with Open House Real Estate Media. I'm Zach, and today we're going to be talking with Kimberly Young, a local resident and expert in all things Montgomery County. So we're talking from schools to neighborhoods to homes. Um, Kimberly, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been an agent and what do you love about living in the Potomac area? Hi, Zach. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, I actually got licensed during the pandemic, uh, so I've been doing this for a little bit. But of course, I've been intertwined in real estate for a while with interest in urban planning and architecture. And as far as Montgomery County, um, I'm lucky enough to live right outside the area we're going to talk about today, Potomac. And I actually have family members live in Potomac, so I can give you great ideas about what makes it unique, why you want to live there, and what the experience is like. Sweet. I'm, I'm excited. Can you tell me a bit about Potomac and like the culture? What's the overall vibe there? Is it suburban, urban? Uh, tell me about it. Yeah, so it's suburban. So it's uh, about 46,000 people live here and it's over 27 miles. So it is quite large. Most people live here and work in the city or work from home. And the residents are cons um, composed mostly of government employees, politicians, hmm. athletes, sports franchise owners, lawyers, physicians, teachers, kind of anything and everything. Wow. Well, that that covers uh, some of the stuff that I was going to ask you about when it comes to economics. So that's really good to know that there's a, a wide variety of of high paying things to to do out there in Potomac. Um, so that's that's really cool. I'm curious about the um, I'm curious about the median home price. How much does it cost to live there? Yeah, it really varies. Again, we're talking about a large area. And so you're going to have everything from a townhome, uh, which might be 800 or 900,000. Uh, the average price for a single family home might be 1.3 million. But this is the area where anything you want, you can build and create. So you're going to have single family homes that might be 4 million, 5 million, maybe $10 million. What you wow. want, you can get in Potomac. That's really cool. So tell me a bit about the geography then, because I, I have noticed it's not a super tiny area. Um, is know. there an area that's more concentrated and then an area with more land or what does that look like? Well, spread out. Um, Potomac is spread out. A lot of the properties uh, associated with single family homes do have acreage, maybe two, three, five acres of land associated oh. with the home. So that's really nice. Uh, so there are a lot of population concentrated near the different shopping centers. So Park Potomac, Cabin John Shopping Center, the villages of Potomac. So oh. you're going to notice there's going to be a formation neighborhoods around those. However, you can basically find whatever you want here. If you're looking for outdoor and activities. We have great golf courses. We've got Congressional Country Club and TPC at Evanel Farm, which are private. We also have Falls Golf Course, which is a public golf course. If you're into road biking, we have great photography for that. So to get your group, hit the roads, a wonderful Sunday activity. If you enjoy being outdoors, go to Great Falls National Park. You can do biking. You can do trail running, you can do walking with groups there, then uh, you might want to think about uh, looking into some of the equestrian areas that are outside of Potomac. So if you like riding, that's certainly an option to really whatever you want you can find here. That's really cool. I'm, I'm assuming that the concentrated neighborhoods are closer to the shopping centers for convenience, which makes sense. Um, let's say you weren't in those areas and you were in some of the, the further reaches of Potomac. Um, how long are you looking to spend driving from Potomac to maybe the middle of DC? Probably about 35 minutes. I mean, given the day and the time, uh, 35 minutes will be about accurate. Okay, 
Cool. That's that's not a bad commute at all, especially um, I know you mentioned a lot of government workers and stuff like that. So um, are there any other nearby cities that people commute to for work? Yeah, you'll find some people commute to Rockville, some commute to Bethesda, some will go over the American Legion Bridge into Virginia into like Tyson's Corner. So really, it's a great at it's a great opportunity to live in an area where you can actually have acreage and space, but at the same time, you're so close to the city. That's really cool. Yeah, it does sound convenient. Um, and it's it's not like right in the middle of everything because um, you mentioned it's suburban. So I, I can definitely see the draw. Is there some unique history in regards to Potomac? And if so, what is it? Yeah, so Potomac um, was a lot of farms originally, but people from D.C., D.C. residents actually looked at Potomac uh, when they were thinking about equestrian and having acreage. So people from D.C. came to Potomac to set up their social circles around equestrian activities. So that's kind of how the area started to flourish. Okay, so I'm I'm curious about the um, I'm curious about the entertainment because you've mentioned shopping which um, of course is, is big in the area. What are some other things that you would be looking to do on a, a weekend evening, a night out? Yeah, well, you probably head into the city or you might wanna take advantage of Strathmore and North Bethesda, but what you'll find is there are a lot of activities set up for young families. So the different shopping centers like Park Potomac and uh, Cabin John Shopping Center will have movie nights, we'll have farmers markets on the weekend. So a lot of activities where you can get you and your family outside. Sweet. Um, and you've mentioned parks and stuff like that. What are some other things to do in nature around Potomac? Just hitting the trails, walking, biking. Uh, we've got really great playgrounds here. So if you have children, that's an option. Uh, you can easily go down to Great Falls Park and can do bird watching. And that's a really nice opportunity too. But yeah, if you're going to look for nature, you're going to probably want to go ahead and head down to Great Falls. Cool. Are there any other um, like state or national parks nearby, even within a couple hours that are worth mentioning? Well, I mean, just talking about what's nearby as far as in the park systems, there is in Glen Echo, there is the Glen Echo Park, which is a great scene if you want to take your family um, to an amusement park, if you want to do go to a, a theater performance, uh, if you just want to take advantage of the Spanish ballroom and maybe a dance activity for you and your partner. But yeah, certainly if you head up northern Montgomery County, you're going to have more options. You're going to have a winery, some distilleries. You're going to have uh, Sugarloaf Mountain. You're going to have areas to do uh, mountain biking. So everything's pretty close by within a few hours. And then certainly you do have access to the beach, which is about three hours. So you have the beach three hours away, which um, is is great. What about the mountains and the valleys? I know Shenandoah is Virginia. Is there anything else that's nearby? Um, those are the primary ones. I would say Shenandoah and Virginia, you can head up north. Um, we're in a great location, just generally being the DC area. You can easily get to other markets like Baltimore if you wanted to go see uh, museums there. If you want to go to the National Aquarium, we're still really close to a uh, close drive to Philadelphia. Um, we're still close to Richmond, Virginia, um, as well as Virginia Beach, if you want something different besides the Delaware, Maryland beaches. So really whatever you want, was in, you can find within about three hours driving distance. Sweet. That's, that's not bad. That's a really easy day no. trip. Well, so that's cool. You've got city living at its best. It's close by, but you're living suburban. And then when you want to get in the car with your family, it's easy three hours, three and a half hours to get to other options. Sweet. Well, speaking of families, I'm curious about schools. I know that the DC area is uh, is praised for its school ratings and stuff like that. So what schools do you have available nearby in Potomac? And are they all public or are some of them private? What does that look like? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. So Potomac uh, has three high schools, three public high schools, Wooten, Whitman, and Churchill. Most students uh, will go to Churchill High School and they'll go to the middle school of Hoover and Cabin John Middle. However, there are parts of Potomac where they will go to school in Bethesda, that's Whitman, and part of Potomac that will go to school in Wooten districts. But primarily it's Churchill School District. Okay. As far as private schools, anything you want, you can find here. If you're looking for something that's religiously affiliated, you can find that. If you're looking for something that maybe has a certain sports program or reputation, you can find that here too. So anything, anything you want as far as educational opportunities, you can find. Cool. 
What about universities? Um, what what colleges are nearby? Yeah, we've well, got University of Maryland, which is one county over. That's um, okay. in College Park, Maryland. Or you've got the DC universities, American University, Georgetown University, Howard, Trinity. Uh, you also have George Washington. So it really just depends. So about 40 minutes away, you've got Maryland, University of Maryland. 40 minutes away, you've got some of the DC schools. Of course, Georgetown is closest to Potomac. Yeah, that's really cool. So I kind of want to bring it back to the beginning now that we've gotten a pretty good idea of what it looks like, um, at least uh, logistically living in Potomac. I am curious about events because those tend to really make or break a community. Um, we had talked about culture in the beginning. So what events does Potomac put on? Obviously, I'm sure there's some for holidays, but um, what other things do they do besides that as well? Well, keep in mind that Potomac's a very large area. So I would say activities are primarily concentrated in neighborhoods. So you're going to have swim and tennis centers. We will have like the swim teams for your children. You're going to have neighborhood parades, neighborhood trick-or-treating, neighborhood um, celebrations for the anniversary of these developments. So I wouldn't say there's necessarily one Potomac event or two Potomac okay. events or just because of sheer number. But I would say each different neighborhood within the Potomac has events that they do. That's to really bind cool. their community together. So they they each neighborhood is kind of in charge of putting on their own thing for holidays and and other special occasions. Um, yeah. Are there any like farmers markets nearby or anything that supports artists? Um, do neighborhoods do anything like that? Well, there are farmers markets. Um, it just depends again because we're talking about a large area. So you're going to have a farmers market at Cabin John Shopping Center, a farmers market off of. Uh, Glen Road um, and Falls Road. So there are farmers markets spread out. Uh, a lot of people in Potomac also support local farmers. So they'll have cool. um, food and different harvest items dropped off to their homes, or they will head to uh, do pickups of the different farms hmm. themselves. So I do think that Potomac in general really invests in small businesses. So you'll notice that people support the different small restaurants. So Gringos and Mariachi, which is actually Park Potomac, that's Mexican Street Fair. Uh, you've got Founding Farmers also in Park Potomac, which is American Fair. And then in other areas, you've got like Sisters Thai, so a Thai restaurant and Cabin John Shopping Center. So you have a lot of the residents that are supporting local small businesses. So the same thing goes all around. You're going to find them supporting the different markets. So we've got a really strong uh, market, the River Falls Market, and the Potomac Shopping Center. Anything that we can do to support small businesses, you'll find Potomac residents doing. That's really cool. Well, and I know that um, we have talked about Cabin John and Glen Echo, which are really mm -hmm. close by, and they um, also put an emphasis on supporting local artists and small businesses and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as far as art, we do have the Glenstone Museum in Potomac, and that's a contemporary uh, art museum, so that's something to check out. Now, it is private, and you do need to make an appointment, but worth the trip, for sure. That's really cool. That's good to know. Um, so if you guys are going to visit or, or live in Potomac and you want to visit the museum, make sure to make an appointment. <laughs> um, that's cool. So I, I've learned a lot about Potomac in a, in a short amount of time, and I'm, I'm sure our viewers have too. If someone was wanting to move to Maryland and maybe even thinking about Potomac, what would you tell them has been your overall experience with living in the, the general area? Great schools, good access to the city, warm, friendly neighbors, everything's at your fingertips. Wow, that's a good, that's a good uh, overview. Well, Kimberly, thank you for taking the time to share your knowledge of Potomac with our open house viewers. Um, I, I think we all learned something today. So thanks for coming on the show. No, thank you. I'm so happy to share about Potomac and one of the other great cities that make living in Lower Montgomery County so great. Sweet. Well, and for our viewers, if you, if you guys are looking to move to the DC area um, or Potomac in particular, then Open House can match you with a local expert like Kimberly. Um, it's a big region with a lot of diverse neighborhoods, so you'll definitely want one of DC's best on your side. Check out the description below for our contact details. You can text or call us, and um, we would love to connect you to the local expert in the neighborhood of your choice. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.